let's go over the most specific way of addressing knee problems. We're going to consider the entire kinetic chain. Mickey, why don't you lie on your side first here? So, one of the first things we have to do is not just look at the knee, but consider the hips, the knee, the ankles, and the feet. And why we have to do this is because no joint works in isolation. If we're going to have knee stability, we've got to have the glutes engaging. We've got to have all the muscles that surround the area active. So the first area we're going to get to is the, the glutes. Mickey always likes this particular test. Yeah. Okay, hold this here. Okay. Good. And just resist really hard. Everything you get. Oh my God. Come on. That's hard, so hard. Frustrating. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> okay, good. So let's have you lie on your back here. Now, when we observe Mickey do squats, we don't see the knees going out, hips going to the side, uh, the arches of your feet collapsing or anything. Yeah. So it's usually the antagonist muscles. We have to get in and work on the adductors. Yeah. So let's just take a look here. Okay. So I'm just going to get in and kind of work my way around here. You okay? Yep. That's going to be a pretty tender place to work. One of my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But this really makes a difference to, if we want to get the glutes to start to engage, increase neurological function to them. You okay there? Yep. Yeah. She's, she's kind of telling the truth here. There we go. Just about there. Okay, turn on your side. Okay, bring this up here. Bring this back over here. And just resist real hard. There we go. Yeah, now they're engaging. Good. Let's have you line your back. Let's test hip flexors. Hold this here. Really hard. Resist. Okay, try it again. Come on, you can do harder than that. Good. Hard, hard. Oh, Not quite. <laughs> Okay, let's have you lie on your side facing over. So embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> so let's bend your knee up here. Take this back. Let's just open up the hip flexors a little bit here. Are you okay? Yep. So I'm going to get these to open up just a bit. Now, this is a really interesting thing when it comes to hip flexor engagement. Primary hip flexors, iliacs and psoas, secondary hip flexors, quadriceps. If we have a restriction posterior in the SI joint, this will actually inhibit quadricep activity. So first I'm going to get around here and get on the hip flexors a little bit. Good. Now just stay there, Mickey. Okay. Take this down. Let me just take a quick look at your side joint. Okay. And stand here. So here. And I can either adjust it or mobilize the joint. Take it down. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Go back on your back. Bring this here. This here. Resist really hard, okay. please. Yes! <laughs> Slide up a little bit here. Next thing, because the hamstrings and strip below the knee here, we want to check your mobility. Oh yeah, you got great mobility. Oh, amazing. Here. You should go to 90%. Your hamstrings are really tight. Yeah. Take a stand here, and I'm going to just get on the hamstrings a bit. You okay? Yep. Again, I'm using a loose hand. Hang in there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> It's not bad at all, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. You had to say that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to put my mouth. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's starting to let go now. Let's just circumduct that a little bit. Get some mobility in there. Good. Not doing too bad. No, that's actually not too bad Take at all. Take this down. Get back up again. That's oh, way what? better. <laughs> so, let's go to a few other... Uh, structures when you're in a standing position, but one more, let's actually just take a look at the capsule here a little bit. Nope, stay there. Oh, okay. Bend the knee here, and I'm just going to mobilize the capsule a little bit. Okay. So it's not just a matter of looking at the muscles that surround the knee, but it's also looking at the joints. And that doesn't seem to be too restricted there. No, I've got good knees. Okay, let's bring this up here. Make go underneath here. Take this underneath. And just make sure that the fibular head's moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're fine there. No problem at all. Okay, go ahead. Let's work in the standing position now. Now, let's go over a few procedures to work above and below the knee here. Okay, I'm going to get you to do a bit of a plie here, please. Down. Good. Back up. So I'm going to get on the quadriceps here. You okay? Yep. Feeling that a bit? Yep. <laughs> Using a quad release while doing a plie is a great way of addressing quadricep restrictions. No problem there? Nope. That's good. I'm just going to move over towards the BMO a little bit here. Go ahead, take it down. Feel that a bit? <laughs> oh. And again. So the VMO, or the vastus medialis oblicus, is involved in locking and unlocking the knee. Really important structure. Take it down, hold that, and go behind the knee, come back up. So 
So I'm taking that and I'm going with my hand posterior and I'm getting on to take it back up. I'm going to call Plidius. I'm in the plantaris. Okay, one more time. I actually have a whole video on this one particular technique if you'd like to take a look at that. Take it up. Excellent. Okay, Mickey, I'm going to get you to actually do some raises here. You can, if you want to balance yourself on there, that's fine. So, I'm going to go and get up onto the tibial center. Take it up. Right up. Feeling that a bit? <laughs> <laughs> up again. Good. Perfect. Up again. So, these muscles are so important because they basically control how the foot hits the ground. This will be directing knee stability. Good. Take it up again. Okay, now hold it there. Now, I want you to take it down. Take it down. Oh. Good. Now, getting on the peroneus. Peroneus longus and brevis, otherwise known as the fibularis. Okay, take it down. You okay? Yep. Good. And over. Not too fast. Up again. Down. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get you to face just over here. Let's go on the calves a little bit here. Okay, now take it up. Ah, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> up again. Are you okay? Yep. Good. Excellent. Up again. Perfect. One more time. Good. And again. Okay, good. Okay, just shake your knees out a little bit there. Good, good. Now just go back and face straight forward there and do a bit of a squat. Just widen your stance a bit. Okay, up and down. Take it up and down now. Okay, how's that feel in the knee? Like the crepitus that I did have is now gone. Right. And I can actually hear the other knee. Yeah, there. I can hear On this one, there's nothing whatsoever. No, there's nothing. So now. it really loosened it up. Now, we're addressing the hip because this, this is critical in terms of stability of the knee. As I was saying, no joint works in isolation. So you've got to have all the muscles here engaging, everything above and below. So we're talking about the adductors, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, tibialis anterior, the peroneals, calf muscles, the capsule, everything. No one structure is the key. You have to work around the entire area. And as you see, we went through these procedures in a relatively short period of time. I can easily address all of these procedures within an appointment. This is a great way to get results for knee problems.